Welcome to the How To Guide for VLE Books. In this video you will find out what VLE Books is, learn ways it can benefit your students and how VLE Books can complement your existing physical library. VLE Books is an ebook platform from Bronze Books designed specifically for use in schools, colleges and universities. Our easy to use platform allows students and teachers to access a vast array of educational resources to help learners excel and progress academically. You will see just how easy it can be to find and read an ebook. You will also discover what great features there are to help with your online reading experience, as well as which devices can be used to access VL ebooks. Ok, let's begin by taking a look at the VL ebooks homepage. Scrolling down the homepage, you will see a number of pods which include Featured Product and Last Read, which is a list of most recent books you have accessed in VLE Books. You will also see Just Arrived, which showcases some of the ebook titles recently purchased by your library, along with Most Read, which includes the most popular titles accessed by your peers on the VLE Books platform. If we return to the top of the homepage, you will find the search bar. Here you can enter a range of words, phrases, an author's name or even an ISBN. There is also an advanced search tool which allows you to be a little more specific if you wish. Here we are going to search for the ISBN of a title we would like to read. When the search results are returned, confirm that you successfully searched the correct title and proceed to the title's landing page by clicking the title or cover photo. Now you will see all of the information for your chosen ebook. Underneath the title and author, there is a picture of the cover page on the left, and on the right, there is a brief synopsis of the ebook you are planning to read, much the same as you would find on the back cover of a physical print book. Below the synopsis, publication information will be displayed, including the author, ISBN, the publisher, and date of publication, along with the number of pages in the book. You will also find a list of the table of contents. Underneath the cover image, we find our options of what we would like to do with the ebook we have selected. Read online, download, and add to bookshelf. Read online allows us to do exactly that. Read the book online. Just one click and we can access the ebook in our web browser. The VL eBooks online reader is a very user friendly interface and has been developed specifically with the end user in mind. The ebook will open in another tab in your browser, so please bear in mind you may need to allow pop ups for VL eBooks. And that's how easy it is to find and access an ebook within the VLE Books platform. Now that we've opened an ebook, let's take a look at all of the great features and functionality of the online reader to help with your learning experience. For now, we are going to focus on the options located on the top of the screen. In the top left corner, we can hide the sidebar until later in the video. In the middle, there is a page number indicator, which has two functions. It displays the number of the page you are currently viewing, and you can also enter a page number. Hit the enter key and this will immediately jump you to your requested page. Moving along to the right, we have our text selection tool, which allows you to highlight and copy text. Next, the pan scroll which lets us click and grab a page to move up or down. There is also a zoom in and zoom out function. This allows the user to zoom in on images and diagrams, or simply make the text bigger and easier to read. The print button allows us to print a page or range of pages. Page layout gives you the opportunity to view an ebook in whichever format you would like. The first option allows the ebook to be viewed as single pages. 
This is our current view. Double page matches up each consecutive page, including the front cover. Finally, we have the cover page. This displays the book in a way that is most like the layout of a physical print book. As you can see here, the cover page is on its own and all of the preceding pages are in a double page format. To optimize the viewing experience on your chosen device, you can fit the book to either the height or width of the screen. The page can be rotated left or right. You can also choose to copy a full page. The next icon here, which looks like a painter's palette, is our colour wheel to help users who experience challenges with reading. This feature allows the user to choose from seven different coloured overlays, which alter the colour of the page. Coloured overlays are a proven research-based solution to help the visual stress problems that often occur alongside dyslexia. Increasing reading speed, accuracy and comfort and help in reducing headaches and migraines. The speaker icon represents the VLE book's read aloud function. This piece of intelligent software will read aloud the words on the page for the user to hear. This can help users with visual impairments or students who are finding it challenging to pronounce particular words or phrases. There is also a help button that opens up the VLE book's user guide which contains further detail on the functionality featured in this video. It's now time to reload the sidebar and take a more detailed look at the options available down the left hand side of the screen. Book details provides the basic information on the title you've chosen to read, along with the allowances each user is afforded in relation to copying text and printing pages from the ebook. Here it will show how many pages a user has already copied or printed and shown in brackets is the limit each user has for copying and printing. The table of contents contains all of the important milestones within an ebook, such as the title page, contents, the beginning of each chapter and a glossary. All of the entries within the table of contents are hyperlinked so you can navigate straight to the start of a chapter. There is also a search tool within the ebook, so if you are wanting to find a particular word or phrase, simply enter this into the search bar and click search. Every time that word or phrase appears within the ebook will be listed in your results and highlighted on the page. Once again, the search results are hyperlinked, meaning it's easy to find what you're looking for. Thumbnails allow a user to see a small image of each page. This is particularly helpful if you are looking for a certain picture or diagram. Scroll through the list of thumbnails and when you have found what you are looking for, click on the image and you will be taken directly to that page. The VLE Books Online Reader incorporates an inbuilt online dictionary, which can be used to find definitions and common phrases. There are two methods by which this information can be found. One way is to simply type the word into the search bar and click the search icon. The other is to click on the word itself using the text selection tool. Click on the word to highlight it. You will then see an option to look up word. Click this and the information will automatically load into the dictionary selection on the left of your screen. Last but by no means least, we find the annotations section. This is where we find all of our saved notes and bookmarks. This is also where we can share, export and import any notes. For example, if there is part of a book which is important to your research and may be needed at a later date, you can make a note attached to that particular section. To make a note on a whole page, click the note button at the top of the annotation section and type your note. 
You can also make notes on a particular paragraph or body of text using the text selection tool. Simply highlight the text you would like to make a note on. You will now see a range of different coloured highlighters and a sticky note icon. Click on the sticky note icon and this will bring up a pop-up box to allow you to enter your notes. When you're done, click save and your note will be saved in your annotations. Notes can be exported into a HTML page so they can be used for referencing purposes. Just click export and the page will be saved into your downloads. VL eBooks also supports the ability for users to be able to share notes. A scenario where this may be useful is if a teacher, for example, wanted to set a series of questions for a class of students. Once the user has added their notes to an eBook, they can click Share and a unique token number will be displayed in a pop-out box. This token number can then be copied and sent to other users, maybe via email. When a token number has been received, the other user or users will then need to access the same ebook title. They will need to navigate to Annotations and click Import and enter the token number provided. Before clicking Import, there are two options to choose from. Add the share code to my notes so I can edit them. Link the notes so I can see updates made by the author. Once an option is chosen, click Import and the ebook will be populated with the notes from the user who provided the token number. Finally, as with any book, it can be useful to mark your progress. To do so, click the bookmark icon that can be located on the top right of each page. Alternatively, you can access this feature from within the annotation section. That's the overview of VL eBooks with Brown's Books Completed. We hope you found that useful and informative. Be sure to view all of our other helpful videos which can be found in the description below.